Hello, uh, this will be a short tutorial on setting up the table view with uh, Xcode 8 and Swift 3. So my first step here is to create a brand new Xcode project. So I'll click on Create New Xcode Project, and I'll start with the single view application. And then we can call it um, Table View Example. How about that? And I'll save it with a GitHub repository there and I'll replace my old one okay and the first thing we need to do is set up the table view so I'll switch to storyboard I'll click on main storyboard in the the, the project outline and then I'm going to find the table view in the objects palette so you gotta click on the little circle here and then we'll scroll down and this guy is the table view right here and so we can drag the table view into our view controller and what I'm going to do is I'm going to snap it to the four edges. Okay, so it goes all the way to the edge. Make sure that the little blue line appears when you snap it, okay? Um, and then what we'll do is we'll click on this little button right here. Let me bring that up a little higher there. This one right here, the second one from the right, it says the pin menu. And what we'll do is we'll set a constraint on each of the four edges. So we're constraining the table view to zero. These should be zero right here. So the table view should be zero pixels from the left, top, right, and bottom. And then we'll click add for constraints. Okay? So to work with our table view, we need to set it up in, in, in two other ways. We need to make an outlet for the table view in our view controller. And we also need to supply a default cell that our table view can work with. So I'm going to go over to here in the object palette and I'm going to find the table view cell object and I'll drag one of those into the table view and the cells get reused so what we do is we give them a reuse identifier and that allows us to um, to mark a cell for reuse and when we mark it for reuse we could have multiple cells that are getting reused but what we do is we give each one a unique name and then we can say what cell we want like whenever our table view needs a cell it can say like hey give me a cell of this type our table view will actually only have one type of cell, so it doesn't matter, but we still need to give it a, a reuse identifier. So with the table view cell selected, um, it should say table view cell right here in the property inspector. We're on the property tab. And then we're going to look for the identifier field, and we'll type in cell. You can give it any name you like, but I'm just going to type cell, all lowercase. Okay, so now we need to have an outlet from our table view to our view controller. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the option key, and then I'm going to uh, click on the view controller file right here, viewcontroller.swift. And what that'll do is it'll open up the view controller in the assistant editor. So my view controller appears over here on the right side in the assistant editor, and my storyboard, which was open previously, is over here on the left. Okay, so here's my view controller class. It's a little crowded there, right? But uh, but you can see here's um, class view controller colon its subclass of UI view controller, and then there's this curly brace. So what we want to do is we want to create a new IB outlet in this area here. It can't go inside the function here, and it has to be within the class. So it has to fall somewhere in here, but not inside one of these other functions. So what I'm going to do is make a little space here by adding a couple extra lines. Okay, so it has to be after this curly brace, but before this stuff. And then what I'll do is I'll hold the control key and then click on the table view and drag into the view controller file here. Okay? And when I look here, it should say type UI table view. If it doesn't, um, click cancel and then make sure that the table view is selected here when you click and drag. Okay, so we'll do that and we'll just give our, our new table view outlet a name of table view. Okay, so this will be a variable that references the table view object that we just created. So that way we can talk to the table view, we can tell it to do things like, you know, uh, refresh its, its cells or ask it what cell is currently selected or, you know, um, tell it how many cells we need to display and stuff like that. Okay, so we'll click connect and you should have an IB outlet. It should say IB outlet, weak var, table view, 
um, and then it should say type UI table view. Okay, and then you know you've got everything correct. So anyway, that's our first step there, and I'll just stop the video here so that'll be a short example there, and then we'll continue in the next video.